I seize the opportunity to express my appreciation of the bonds between our uh, two countries, uh, the fraternal relations, the eternal ties, and the long history. Our relations out of our shared political will are geared to remain, enhance, and develop in the time ahead. I have held today with Her Excellency President Samia Hassan fruitful bilateral talks inspired by mutual understanding and alignment on a number of bilateral and regional topics of common interest. Our political wills have converged on launching a new phase of the two countries' partnership and building on the significant achievement witnessed by our relations in these recent years, especially since my last visit to Dar es Salaam in August 2017. The efforts to promote cooperation in the fields of economy and development between the two countries received special attention in our talks today. On my part, I have emphasized Egypt's support of Tanzanian development plans for the progress and prosperity of the sisterly United Republic of Tanzania. I have also stressed Egypt's readiness to share the Egyptian experience, provide the technical support, and contribute to the capacity building of the Tanzanian national cadre via the training courses offered by several Egyptian authorities, most notably the Egyptian Agency of Partnership for Development. We also agreed on the optimal use of our capabilities to serve the interests of both countries through increasing the rates of trade exchange, which we hope will achieve further growth in the years to come, thus matching the outstanding political relations between the two countries. We moreover probed mechanisms to increase the Egyptian investments in Tanzania and ways to facilitate the works of Egypt companies that wish to access the Tanzanian market. There has been a growing interest of the Egyptian business community in the recent years to invest in the Tanzanian market, considering the success stories of the Egyptian companies currently present in Tanzania. This is the best evidence of the ongoing momentum of our bilateral relations and the huge potential that we can unlock to strengthen our two countries' cooperation. Along the same lines, I would like to stress our full support to carry out the construction project of Julius Nereri Dam to ensure the best execution and construction standards so that this dam becomes a leading model and a symbol of cooperation friendship between Egypt and Tanzania, as well as the rest of the sisterly African countries. The completion of this national project will fulfill the hopes and aspirations of the brotherly people of the Tanzania for a better life. It is also an embodiment of the Egyptian support of the Nile Basin countries' rights to best utilize the water resources without impacting the rights and endowments of other countries. We have exchanged views on a number of current regional and international issues of shared interest. We have also reviewed the developments of the Renaissance Dam being an existential issue affecting the lives of millions of Egyptians. I stressed the necessity to reach a legal binding agreement to regulate the filling and operation of the dam based on the rules of the international law and relevant Security Council conclusions away from any unilateral approach which seeks to impose a fait accompli and ignore the basic rights of nations. I asserted our vision to make the River Nile a source of cooperation and development, being the lifeline of all the Nile Basin countries. Your Excellency President Samia Hassan, 
meeting with you today gives me a great pleasure. It reflects the convergence of the two countries' views on many issues. I look forward to a further and a closer cooperation between our two countries to serve our mutual interest and that of the African continent. I wish the sister, sisterly United Republic of Tanzania prosperity and stability once again. I welcome you and the accompanying delegation to your second home, Egypt. Thank you. See, Abdel Fattah al my brother, President of the Arab Republic of Egypt, honorable ministers of our two countries here present, government officials from our two countries, distinguished members of the press. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. As you can see, much has been said by my brother, His Excellency President Abdel Fattah al-Sis. I therefore will be very brief because in my culture, the guest is not supposed to speak much after the host has spoken. At the outset, I wish to thank Your Excellency for the cordial invitation to your great country. I also wish to note with gratitude the warm welcome and gracious hospitality accorded to me and my entire delegation since we arrived in this beautiful city of Cairo. Thank you very much. I've been to Egypt in the past, but this is my first visit in Egypt since I took over the <clears throat> as the President of the United Republic of Tanzania, and I can say without a flick of an eyelid that the Egypt I knew by then is not the Egypt I'm witnessing today. Congratulations. The progress and milestone reached is a worthwhile lesson for my country. Excellencies, not long ago, my brother, His Excellency, President Al-Sisi, and I have discussed on bilateral, regional, continental, and global issues of mutual concern and interest, interest including diplomatic, economic, political, and social relations. Progress on the construction of the Julius Nyerere Hydropower Station and um, the need of enhancing cooperation in trade, investment education, sports, tourism, just to mention a few, and he has uh, spoken about all of them. During our discussion, both of us reaffirmed our satisfaction and appreciation for the historic, long-standing, and excellent relation between Tanzania and Egypt. My visit today has provided us yet another opportunity to enhance our bonds of friendship and cooperation, which were built on a very solid foundation by our founding fathers, the late Malim Julius Nyerere of Tanzania and the late Gamal Abdel Nasser of Egypt. These two leaders were revolutionaries who shared similar pan-Africanist views on African liberation and unity, as well as struggle for global equality, justice system, and economic emancipation of the African continent and the people of Africa. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, in regard to peace and security, I informed my brother, His Excellency Abdel Fattah al -Sis, that Tanzania has continued to enjoy peace, stability, and tranquility in all spheres of life, be it political, economic, or social, or cultural. This situation has provided an opportunity for government to focus its efforts to strengthen the economy as well as improving social services. And on the economic front, Tanzania, just like many other economies in the world, succumbed to the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. In order to revive our economy, we have injected stimulus packages in our key sectors that were affected by the pandemic such as tourism, and we expect to fairly grow economically. Our GDP is expected to grow 
by 4.6 this year and next year. Over the years, with regard to Egypt Tanzania Development Corporation, my government appreciates the long standing technical assistance provide, provided by the government of Egypt through the years in areas of cooperation that include so many factors, as I have mentioned here earlier. So over the years, we have been recipients of a number of scholarships and capacity building programs from the Egyptian government. The support in our education sector has played a vital role of building capacity, increasing knowledge, skills, and expertise of our public officials. Tanzania greatly value this support, and I have requested uh, from my counterpart for continued cooperation and more opportunities in other areas of the mutual benefit of our two countries and peoples. My native language, Swahili, is Africa's widely spoken language, and our discussion would not replete without a mention of a language that has played a key role in unifying our continent. I commend my brother, President Al Sisi, uh, for bold move and decision to commence teaching the Kiswahili language in Egyptian higher learning institutions as a strategic language. This is a move in the right direction of unifying our people. I express Tanzania's readiness to support Egypt in this worthwhile endeavor and will send a team of experts to discuss Egypt's particular needs and agree on a framework on how Tanzania and Egypt can cooperate in this area. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, on defense and security, this is a paramount issue in any country national agenda. With Egypt having excelled in the defense and security sector, our discussion also touched on defense and military cooperation between our two countries. It is gratifying to note that Egypt and Tanzania share mutual concern for peace and security at regional and global level. I wish to register my sincere sense of appreciation to the government of Egypt for the continued support in providing capacity building to our military personnel. We discussed on the need to further enhance military cooperation that exists um, between our two nations, national armies by increasing joint trading exercises and exchange of expertise in peacekeeping and the fight against terrorism, um, extremism, and piracy. With regards to energy sector, Tanzania also expresses its gratitude to the government of the Republic of Egypt for their support. Our two countries are working together in the energy sector. A joint venture of two Egyptian companies has been contracted by our national power company to build, as he said it rightly, the Nyerere, Julius Nyerere hydropower project, of which upon its completion, we are expecting it's going to produce 2,115 megawatts of electricity and this is a great, a very big stride for industrialization agenda of Tanzania. This being a mega strategic project for our country, I wish to reiterate the commitment of my government in honoring our obligations with a view to realizing this great national flagship project. We are also optimistic that continued support will be offered to the project by the government of uh, Egypt and my brother here has uh, reaffirmed on this support. Excellencies, the Joint Commission for Cooperation, JCC, was established long ago, and we had uh, some meetings, but then uh, it's long overdue. We need to meet, and we have agreed that the JCC is going to meet next year, early next year. In economic and trade, during the discussion, we noted that our economic ties continue to grow, especially the area of the investment and trade. For instance, the volume of trade between our two countries 
increased from Tanzanian shillings 84.3 billion in 2018 to Tanzanian shilling 87.3 billion in 2020. Tanzania has also registered 26 projects from Egypt worth $1.3 billion, which have created 2,206 jobs to Tanzanians. It is unfortunate that the balance of trade is in favor of Egypt, but we, Tanzania, promise to put more effort so that we can produce more um, and use the opportunity of trading between our two countries. Furthermore, Tanzania welcomes investors from Egypt to come and explore investment opportunities in Tanzania in areas of livestock, agriculture sector, real estate industry, energy, tourism and hospitality, pharmaceuticals, transportation, mining, manufacturing and agro-processing industries. My government will render the necessary facilitation to the Egyptian business community wishing to invest and do business in the country. Excellences, ladies and gentlemen, in joint project, we have agreed to work closely on agriculture, livestock and fisheries where Tanzania can benefit greatly from Egypt's technology and expertise in these areas or in these sectors. Joint farms will be of great help for our countries to benchmark best practices and productivity. Furthermore, we agreed to cooperate in the blue economy to realize its full potential and benefits. And in this regard, Tanzania requests Egypt to provide technical support and advanced technology in establishing, as I said, larger farms for aquaculture and other marine species. Uh, excellences regarding uh, regional and international matters, during the discussion we agreed that our two countries will continue to work together on all matters of common concern and interest, including global peace and security, climate change, infrastructure development, financing for development, human rights advocacy, the fight against terrorism, the strengthening of African unity and achieving sustainable social, economic development and supporting each other on common African position on various issues of mutual interest, including recipro reciprocal endorsement and support of our candidature in the African Union and the United Nations. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we have witnessed the signing of three memorandum of understandings, and uh, it's, my, it's my conviction that Tanzania will work hard on implementing those uh, signed uh, memorandum of understandings, and we will also continue to discuss with our partners in Egypt to complete other remaining memorandum of understandings and uh, agreements. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, members of praise, I also extended a cordial invitation to my brother, President Assisi, to visit Tanzania at a time of his convenience. And let me conclude by once again thanking him for inviting me to visit this great country and um, for the warm welcome and generous hospitality extended to me and my entire delegation since our arrival. In conclusion, I wish to reiterate my personal commitment and that of my government to further strengthen these relations for the mutual benefit of our countries and our people. Thank you very much, my brother. Thank you. Asante sana and shukran jazeera.